All right, welcome back, guys. This evening, we're going to talk about business etiquette and the way that you conduct yourself in business. I thought that this was a very important video to do because after 17 years now of being out here in the industry, there's just several things that you just need to do right. See, guys, you can build a reputation out here on the Internet. See, the world is a very small place, but on the Internet, it's smaller. So if you began to get a bad reputation out here, it will spread, and once it's on the internet, it's there. Now, I do know that there are cases where people just want to slander folks and things like that. Well, you know, I understand that. But if people know you and get a chance to know you, they'll know that those things aren't true. But I'm talking about the people that are actually doing these things out here, and it is true. Uh, so here we go. Business etiquette. All right. Here's some things that I think are very important. At least three of these I'll, I'll elucidate or talk about right now uh, on. Now, the first one being when you are looking at somebody's opportunity and you tell them that you're going to get back with them and let them know, you know, heads or tails, what you're going to do, do what you say. If you tell them you're going to call back or email, do something, but at least contact them back. I've heard of people... <laughs> disconnecting their phones instead of calling people back. Guys, that's that's tacky, it's unprofessional, and you just don't you just shouldn't do that. That that's just not how you do things. You never know who you're gonna need in the future and who you're gonna meet in the future. So you don't cut people off at the knees and treat them bad and talk ugly to them and all of that. Look, you don't have to be enemies just because you're not gonna work in business together. So Keep that in mind. All you really should do is just, you know, get back with them and let them know, hey, guys, look, or hey, so-and-so, or if it's a man or woman, look, I, I, I don't think that I'm going to do this program. I don't really think it's going to be a fit for me. Fine. And, and that person can go on, and it's no problem. But at least do what you say. Have a good name. Make a good name for yourself because who knows, that person may come back later and have a real benefit for you that's going to be a real help for you. And uh, they'll remember you and how that you were and how you acted and uh, will keep you in mind. So that's something to think about. Uh, also, opt-in forms. When you opt in on the form, hey folks, don't put Fred Flintstone in there, you know, or Wilma or something like that, something crazy. Guys, look, put your name in there. If you're concerned about getting spam and all these other types of things, use an alternate email that you check quite a bit, but still, you won't. it won't be your main email where you can get this particular information. And if it's information you want, you can keep. If not, you can always unsubscribe. But don't put false names in there and stuff like that. That's not good. That's not ethical. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. That that's not the way to go. And then here's another one, the big one. I call. Have you heard this before? If you've been in networking a, a while, you have. You're talking to somebody and they ask the question, "Well, how much money are you making?" That is one of the most rude questions that you can ask somebody. Okay. You know what that's like? That's like me walking up to a stranger's door, knocking the door, and say, "Hey." I know you don't know me, but uh, I'd like to come in, sit down on your couch, go in your refrigerator, go in your room, and maybe even spend the night tonight. You know, I know you don't know me, but hey, I think it's all right, right? That's crazy. You wouldn't do that, would you? Of course not. A man walk up to a woman, never seen her before in his life, and say, I just bought a new ring today, and it looks good on your finger. I think you ought to be my wife. Hey, let's get married. She'd think you were insane. So if you understand that, you'll understand this. You don't just walk up and ask somebody that you don't know how much money are you making. I tell people this. If I'm making a million dollars a week, can you spend it? No. So why would you ask that? No. The question that needs to be asked is, can I make money in the program? Sure you can. With the right effort and the, and the things that I will show you, you can do well in the program. The people that you're looking for are the ones that ask you questions like, Hey, okay, how much is it to get started, and how quickly can I get a return on my investment? That person is the one that you want to sign up. The person, let me give you a huge tip here, the person that asks you how much money you're making, do not, I repeat, do not sign them up in your program. If you do, they will do absolutely nothing but give you frustration 
and drain you of your energy. How do I know? I've done it before. <laughs> and I'm telling you, every single time, that's what happened. So to save you the time and the headache, when they ask you that question, just let them know, hey, thank you so much, but I don't think this is going to be for you, and just let them go. It will be the best thing for you, trust me. So I just kind of wanted to touch on a few things concerning business etiquette this evening. Hopefully these tips kind of helped you. Um, I'm, I'm open to help uh, those who need mentoring and those that have questions about business, etc. Uh, that's what we're here to do, help and be an encouragement to you. Uh, so by all means, uh, I'm Ivan Harris. I'll put my uh, number here where you can contact me and I'd love to be of service and help you in any way that I can. So have a great evening and I'll look to talk with you again real soon. Take care now. God bless.